Instagram. Yeah, that's my first dream. And you're going to have vivid dreams coming in. So make sure y'all write your dreams down. Um, can y'all hear my space heater? I always have it on. I'm going to go get my teeth whitened. I'm like obsessed with my teeth being... I don't know if it's me being obsessed with it or my mother. <clears throat> Either way, my teeth have to be whitened. They're not white enough for her. I mean, it's just crazy. I'm like, are these my teeth? Are we sharing them? Like, what the fuck? But whatever. She was like, yeah, your teeth are yellow. I'm like, no one has ever told me. Like, no one. <laughs> Everyone's like, Ashley, your teeth are so white. Like, no. My mom's like, oh, your teeth so yellow. She, she had like they was just, I don't know. Either way, go. I'm getting my teeth whitened. <laughs> okay. Because my mother has told me that my teeth are not up to par for her. Period. Oh, you got a question? My bad. My fault. Little show me like, bitch, do your job. <laughs> okay, let me um, let me get these just for no questions. I had me here pulled it up on the screen. What's up? How you doing? <sighs> All right, yes or no? My bad. My fault. Sometimes I just be getting carried away because she just be for real about the stuff she be saying to me. I'm like, hold on. She be like, no. Okay, so they said yes. Okay. Yes is your answer. Yeah. Yes is your answer. If you're on YouTube, please do not forget to hit that handy dandy like button. I need to split this screen up. If you guys want your own reading, you can get it on whatever you want it to be on. It is 1818 live, but if you want it offline, it's 2888, 28, okay? Um, last time we was playing games, I did enjoy those games. Um, move to the new window, yeah. I did enjoy those games, so I am going to allow us to play them again. So, <clears throat> you can do $5.55, okay? And basically, you can do two songs that is about your situation, whatever comes out, right? Um, and it was kind of fun. I really did enjoy it. I do like singing. Um, what am I supposed to be moving to this other window? YouTube, I think. This Apple update is just like bonkers, okay? I'm like, look, y'all need to show me how to do this because y'all doing the most. I don't know how to do this shit. Move to a new window. And Apple changes everything and just be like, oh, update. It's like, no, nigga. No update. You don't fucking change this whole software. This is not a fucking update. This is, I don't fucking know how to use this anymore. <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Apple don't be playing. I'm like, what kind of update is this? <clears throat> I mean, it's okay if you get the new electronic because that new electronic is basically... You know your first time using it so you like oh okay but if you've been using it and they hit you with an update you be fucking goddamn clueless and now they do it an automatic like oh bitch you're not gonna press the update button i got something for you go to sleep and let that bitch die boom new phone you like well, new phone okay <laughs> sorry y'all it really be like this y'all i promise y'all it's crazy <clears throat> and i have all the old ones so the old ones is like please update me you know, I'm like, mm-mm. Let's keep this traditional. I'm telling you, girl. New Blue, I ain't lying, okay? It's it's a forced entry with them. They don't give a fuck. You know, it's 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 y'all phone, but it's really they phone. And they control it. <laughs> and we just over here just like, damn. You know, they even fucking up when the battery die now. The old ones do not do that. I still have them. But the new ones, they put some kind of jug in there to fuck up something. I don't know what they're doing. I ain't trying to be on those conspiracy. But, you know, all I am is a conspiracy. What's up, Brandon? <clears throat> How y'all doing? But, yeah, anyway. If you guys want a reading, y'all already know what to do. <laughs> if y'all have yes or no questions, just put question mark in the comment section. Um, Dang, I forgot. Um, what's the face? He paid for a reading and then didn't even um tell me what his what he wanted his reading to be on. I don't know. He'll tell me whenever he feels like he wants to. <clears throat> What's up, pretty lady? This pretty lady. Is that that is like a common name that people call people? I really just want to know that. <laughs> I always say that. You got another question? I got another answer. 
Hey, pretty lady. Thank you, Brandon. <clears throat> Your answer is surely not. New blue. Let me shuffle again for you, new blue. New blue. Yes. Um, yeah. Somebody else calls me pretty lady, and I just, I just, I just think that's just so crazy because I've never been called that before. <laughs> and now it's just like, hey, pretty lady. But I do love it. You know, I am a lady and I am pretty, so it does fit the characteristics. I'm just acting silly today. How are you guys? <laughs> Happy Thursday. We're one day away from Friday. I don't know what's happening on Friday for y'all, but I think I got a. Do I have a crazy Friday? I think I do got a crazy Friday. I had a crazy. It's prom season, um, so it's run your buck up dollar Friday because it's prom season. So you gotta do what to do. <clears throat> so I will be in those streets. I mean, hopefully they're not gonna be rainy streets, um, but I hope that. I really would just want to do it at the hotel where the prom is at. We could just boop, 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 boop. We could get some nice ones. But these kids are just weird. You know, they're like, no, we want to do this. I'm like, this is what the move is, though. They're like, no, that's not the move for us. I'm like, okay, you the client. Let me do what you want. Tell me what you want. Because you know I can't provide. I don't know why I break out a song like that. One of my followers was like, I am just like that. I'm like, I know, I need to work on that. I didn't even know I'd do that. <clears throat> Whatever you want. We are playing the game. The game was kind of fun. Okay, so the game is $5.55. And there's two musical cards that will come out based off your love situation. Whatever situation you say. <clears throat> then, we, then we have the... Um, Five dollars and fifty-five cent. How your person feels about you. All right. So you can get two cards to basically say how your person feels about you. When you pay your five five five, make sure you put the person's name if you know the person's name in there. So you know it can be accurate. <clears throat> um, you can even do your best friends. When we was doing the best friends, those was good too. Okay, and hella accurate. Um, I hate telling y'all fucked up shit, but. I tell y'all and y'all be like, I knew that bitch was fucked up. I'd be like, oh my God. So you just should have trusted yourself. <laughs> it's funny. Okay, I like that. Yeah, it's really fun. We had a good time. I don't know where Trina is. She might be at work though. Like my new schedule is that I'll be on live um, at noon every day. <clears throat> but today I was nigga late. I came on at 1221. I was going to take a nap. That's why. Hey boo. I was going to take a nap and then I, I didn't. But I do feel very well rested. <laughs> Oh, gosh. Sometimes I have to crack myself up. What's going on? So, I don't know where Trina, Trina, Trina is, but normally she's my little moderator. Oh, they said she's active now. <clears throat> so, maybe she'll come on. But if she don't, it's okay because it's not like her job. I am not paying her to do this. Boy, this garbage truck has been noisy today. Like, I wanted to take her here. Just noisy Nancy, Okay. Not saying I'm mad because I need the garbage truck, but just been noisy. <clears throat> All right, so you can do um, uh, the portal update. So the portal update will let you know what shoppers have been activated since the portal has happened. That's five five five. Once you play your first round, all the rounds after that is two dollars and twenty five cents. I mean two dollars and twenty two cents. I don't know where I got the twenty five from. So the first round is $5.55 and you can pick anything. You can get love, how this person feels about you, or you can pick the two songs, or you can do um, the portal, okay? After you play your first round, the additional rounds is just $2.22 if you want to play those. And you can play endlessly. You can pick how many ever names you want to. Um, and we had a good time. It was fun. Um, you also can get your own readings which are 1888 and you can get them offline for 2888. You can also ask me questions if you want to. So if y'all want to ask me anything, y'all can. I don't mind answering questions. It doesn't bother me. <clears throat> you can ask me whatever you want. Um I don't know. It doesn't matter. Some people have really good questions, so <clears throat> 
Don't ask me nothing about your personal business unless you're paying for a reading. Because, I mean, that would just be weird. Um, unless it's like a group question for everybody, then you could do that. I don't really mind. You could do that as much as you like. Ow. I don't know why my ears bother me like this. Um, what was I going to talk to you guys about? I am dropping some podcast episodes. I need to go ahead and do those. I don't know why I haven't dropped them yet. I'm working on it. Bitcoin is definitely doing some weird shit. Okay, it's like up, down, up, down, ABC start. So, crypto update. Leave it alone. Walk away for now because it's just too emotional. And I'm not really somebody who likes for like my emotions to be like toyed with. So I think that right now, you just need to chill out for the having event. I think we're like two weeks or a week or so out from the having event. Oh, she really looks like she's just so annoyed by her. Um, wow. That's crazy. I'm sorry. I, I was looking at something, y'all. And it's just like, I don't know. I could just really see when people are like pretending to like people. It's crazy. Okay. <clears throat> YouTube. Because she don't like her. She's like, oh, you annoying. It's yes. Whoo. It's yes. Okay. It's crazy. PayPal has now um, added XRP as one of their payment portals. I know y'all don't understand that, but that's pretty big. I really didn't even really get too heavy in XRP. They said yes. But if you are in crypto, and you can, it ain't going to hurt you to get a little bit. Uh, XRP, <sighs> it's not going to hurt you. Do y'all have any questions for me? Questions for me? Questions for me? I don't know what that is. <clears throat> this is already dying. I don't know how that's happening. This is weird, man. This man is like, I don't know who he is and where he popped up from, but he's just lying everywhere. Okay. April 12th, which is tomorrow. Sun and Mercury conjunction. Woo! How you feeling today, Ashley? I'm feeling really good, okay? So tomorrow, Mercury comes together, and Mercury is like marking the midway basically to mercury retrograde now mercury retrograde is a period where the electronics start to act silly and stupid hey what's your favorite deck of cards to read when you first started um they actually are here i'll show you um doo -doo -doo -doo. okay so mercury retrograde is going to be going on until the 25th of april where are my little first cards at? Right here. Okay, to the to the end of um, the 25th, okay? Uh, during Mercury Retrograde, we should be open to gaining a lot of insight and wisdom. My ears ch chimed out today, just the right ear, actually. Um, the sun symbolizes consciousness and enlightenment. Mercury begins to... I don't know, but it's going to be really hot, okay? So, y'all need to be prepared for it to get extremely hot um, because I don't know why, but it's going to get hot. Um, Mercury aligns with the sun 
and it's time to deeply receive knowledge and light and consciousness. Um, this Sun and Mercury conjunction that's going to happen tomorrow is going to align us with a lot of new principles and it's going to usher in a lot of new light codes. Now my ear already did ring out, which I already told y'all that. Um, so like little things like that or feathers or dimes or all that kind of stuff could be happening. Now other things could be happening when we see numbers and we see like feathers and we see like signs and synchronicities and people's names and things that just flow in our life or whatever. Um, that's also a way of them giving us information, right? So the numbers that you're going to see a lot, maybe even today, tomorrow is 111, 222, and 333, all right? They're also telling you that um, <clears throat> it's a great time to focus on meditation, journaling, and gathering ideas, and remembering your dreams by writing them down, which is just fucking crazy because I just had my first dream today. All right, and these are the cards that I got the first, my first deck of one. Um, so uh, this is my first one. So they were pretty simple. Like they have integrity, detached, loyalty, virtue, priorities, okay? They were pretty simple. Um, when you go get your first deck of cards, if you never purchased them before, you just go and make you feel good. If it make you feel good that the colors are bright, go there. If it make you feel good that the colors have little vampire teeth on there, go there. You know, go wherever you are supposed to go. Uh, there's no, like, evilness in it. You know, it's just what you understand. Like, if you understand all the characters in Buffy the Vampire Slayer, then you probably can get one because you'll know who and how they felt. Um, yeah, you can get a reading. It's 1818. If you want it offline, if you want it to be private, it's um 2888 okay so whatever you want and if you want a private you know wrong with that you just got to send me an email and dm me and say hey this is what i want the reading to be about this is what i'm asking about now when you keep seeing the number codes that's just basically saying you're being inducted in okay everybody can be inducted in everybody is going to get their opportunity to see these fucking numbers okay People can be like, oh, I seen the numbers, but they didn't mean shit to me. You can deny the numbers. Nobody is forcing you. That's why I say this is not like a, a Christian thing, okay? Um, this is more so something that you do individually. It's an individual walk, okay? Somebody just paid the dollar to be a part of the pot. The pot is going back on again. Um, I posted the two winners. They're under every video, okay? So please donate your dollars into, you know... The two people that are the winners and give them your dollars guys okay if you want to be a part of the pot you just donate a dollar and 11 cents or eight dollars and 88 cents to be have your name listed on the video and everyone is supposed to donate a dollar to that person who's listed on the video all right so if y'all want to do that let's do it let's make it big we're trying to get to two million um to do this okay you can donate as much as you want a dollar twice that means your name will be put on there twice just um you know I, once I heart it, that means you're about to be posted. That's what I'm doing now. So that I can keep up with who hasn't been posted from who has been posted. Um, so, yeah. So, those are the light codes that are coming in. You may see those numbers. And just like when you see crop circles, um, and you can see them, like, for real or a picture on Instagram or whatever. You, when you see them, whenever you do, um, you get downloads. You get clarity. Like, you don't know that you're getting those downloads, downloads but... You can get activated through pictures. A lot of us can get activated through pictures. So just seeing crop circles, um, just on our timeline, seeing 1111, seeing 111, 222, and 333 right now. The dreams that are coming in are important. That's why, you know, they're messages to you um, as well. And a lot of this is coming in with the sun and mercury conjunction that is happening tomorrow. So if y'all have any um, questions about that, just let me know. And, um, you know, I will give you whatever answers that I have to do with that. Um, when you see this 333 right now, um, it's because a lot of people are coming into your lives to help you become truer versions of yourself. So if you're seeing 333 a lot, 3 a lot, just any of that, um, tough times teach us the most valuable lessons and people to avoid and try to keep our life more peaceful 
Um, we are going to be meeting different people on our journey and not everyone is here to stay with us. Some people are just here to show us our weaknesses, okay? And, and treat us poorly to make us be aware of what we need to work on and how we need to know like we shouldn't be treated poorly like this, okay? So um, just know that it's important for you to understand that everybody serves a purpose and you're not a victim because people will be like, well, you don't know what he did. You don't know what she did. It really don't matter because you signed up for this bitch to be in your life. You know what I mean? And if people can't be in your life and treat you how you want to be treated, you need to kick their ass out your life. There's no purpose. They're volunteering to go out their way to be in there. Okay. Um, and this is where, you know, your self-worth matters. How you care about yourself is all about self. If you don't want to be treated that way, you know, you don't got to be around this person. All right. So there's a need to hold on to the those people who feel unworthy. For some reason, you got to ask yourself, like, why am I holding on to somebody who feels unworthy? People who feel unworthy will treat you like shit. They will try their best to make you feel like being treated or being like praised is a bad thing. You know, like, oh, I'm not going to just praise you. I'm not going to gas you up. But why? If somebody is a good person, why can't you gas them? But that is because this person feels like, you know, no one is doing that for them, you know. And that's why I always try to tell you guys it is a two-way street. So 333 energy is coming in because it, it is a new vibe. It is a new vibe of love, okay? So if you are seeing 333 a lot, it is because you're going to be vibing at a more love or from your root-based chakra a vibration okay and you're going to be letting go of people who are unworthy of your love because some of y'all who are like care bear crackheads love unworthy people y'all be like oh i'm gonna make them love me okay um your love feels very limitless but you need to allow this love to freely come both ways and it's for it to be unconditional and forever okay your love becomes like poetry expressing it in beautiful ways you speak to them with no fear and no secrets okay so a lot of you guys are going to be talking to people and just telling them how you genuinely feel and opening up your hearts and that is very powerful and you're not going to want to lie to your lovers you're not going to want to deceive them in any way okay and this is this 333 vibration um you want to love them endlessly with all of your heart no matter what happens so this is a great energy that's coming in, period, all right, 333 three, three vibes. Um, but this is like the, the orbit that is coming into, I guess they said it was a comet. But this was coming in to like heal our root chakras. And this energy is piercing into our planet as we speak. So, you know, y'all get ready for that energy or that healing love energy. <sighs> all right, do y'all have any more questions for me? Anything y'all want to ask? So that was my first deck of cards that I had. Um, and I just think you should just go in a store and pick whatever ones you feel like are calling to you. I have tons of them now. Oh, it, it's, I just get whatever I want. I do think it's cool to make your own though. Like a lot of people on YouTube, they just got index cards and they just put in whatever case scenario they got on their cards. And I feel like that's good. It makes their readings limitless. And not like, you know what I'm saying, like routine um, based. So uh, making your own tarot cards is good. A lot of people will purchase those tarot cards from you. Okay, so a lot of those people who have index cards, they really should think about making what they have on those cards, cards and selling them. I mean, $100 a deck. I mean, if people can really open their mind to other aspects of tarot where they were selling them, they will make book of cash too, you know, but... Some people are like, no, I'm good on YouTube, or no, I don't want to expand, or, you know, I don't know, shit. But anyway, if you guys want readings, they're 1818. If you want them offline, they're they're 1888, my bad. And if you want them offline, they're 2888. If y'all have yes or no questions, all y'all have to do is put question mark in the comments, and I will bust them down in the order in which you post them. Um, damn, what was I about to say? So yeah, so this 333 energy is coming on in here. Let me know if y'all feel it. Hey, how you feeling today? I'm feeling good. Guys, thank you so much for asking me how I feel. That's so nice. I mean, I'm not saying that other people don't, but it is nice. I'm feeling really good. How are you guys feeling? <laughs> um, Yes, yes, yes. Okay, for Instagram. How are you doing, Joanne? You've been posting. I hope you have a lot of content. It seems like you have tons of content. 
um, um, as well because you've been posting, posting, posting. And that's what I wanted. I wanted to make sure that you had a lot of content to, uh, to post. <sighs> Man. Mm -mm -mm. I don't know what's going on with me. I tried to get that nap in, but that nap would just not take me. It just wouldn't take me. I'm like, go ahead, take me away. I was trying to sing it, <laughs> telling it to come. Hey, Jada. But it wouldn't take me away. So I said, if it's not going to take me away, I did make a vow that I was going to be on this live every day at 12. I did miss yesterday. What happened yesterday? Oh, Ty had like late check-in. And then what happened? I don't really know. I can't remember. But I know I missed yesterday. But I am going to try my best to be here every day at noon. Um, and I'm going to try my best to record me as many videos as I can in the morning. I have not been able to wake up at 5 a.m. That's not something that I'm claiming anymore because I haven't been able to do it. Doing well. Had a dream. Oh, goody. Another dream. Let me hear. I had a dream, too. Had a dream. I went line dancing. And then I forgot the steps. Hmm. I had a dream that was very weird and peculiar myself, guys. It just was so weird. I had a dream, too. And I remembered it. So, it's like a message. I'm like, oh, what message could this be? You know? I don't know. But when you remember it, it's a message. So, we definitely need to decode it. Um, I mean, it could just, it could just mean that you feel like you're going to go somewhere and forget something that you already know that you truly know. Um, so I don't know, you know, you know what you, you know what you know, you know, so I don't know. Mine was different. Mine was different. I was dreaming about my old house, this place that I used to live in and I don't live there anymore. I don't like this place a lot because things happened there that I didn't really care for. And there was a guy there that I really like, and he was there, and he was trying to get me to go somewhere with him. And um, I was like, I'm not going, you know, because he was saying all this stuff like, you don't drink, and I want to see what's good this and that. But he was adamant on me changing my clothes. Like, I had on these pants that was sparkly, and he was like, but you can't go in those pants. You got to put on a dress. You can put on them boots. He was even suggesting the boots. And it's crazy that I remember these things. Like, why is this important? But he kept saying, yeah, put this dress on and put these shoes on. And he was like, yeah, that's, that's what you need to wear. And I was like, okay, cool, you know. Um, and like, my daughter was there, but they weren't in the same room, him and her. She was by herself with her cousin and um, my best friend's son. And I remember this, like we was all just at this movie. And like, it's not a movie, it was just a dream last night. It was crazy, it just didn't make no sense. I swear to God, y'all. And I had on black sparkly pants and other people had on black too, not the kids. The kids had on colors. I don't know if they could have been white or orange or something, but we left the apartment and we was packed up. He had all my bags. He was like, we not coming to this apartment no more. And his car was white, which was crazy, which was real crazy. Um, and we got in the car and we got to the club and the club was like this club I used to go to in college called Baja's. Um, and when I got there, he was like, will you marry me? And I was like, what? And then I woke up and I don't know what was going on, y'all. I mean, even though I told you everything that happened, I was like, ah! I was so confused. <laughs> oh, it burned me. Oh, bad behavior. So... Yeah, I don't know. I think that it was just, I don't know. I'm a dreamer, been waking up early, usually getting downloads for my business. Yeah. Oh, I had a weird dream from people seeing me. Yes, no care about, it was weird. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, maybe I wasn't supposed to share my dream. I just got burnt. This little thing just burnt me. I'm like, I wasn't supposed to share that part, maybe. I don't know. But y'all, for real, I am so confused. I, I wrote it down, and I remember it. But I just don't know what's going on, you know what I mean? And why that was such a big message that I needed to hear. But I wrote it down. And maybe they'll give me another dream. Or maybe I'll have a be continued. 
Hey Alicia. I'll have me a little be continued. So we will see. We're going to see. Maybe you were moving on from something. I do feel maybe you dreamed of a wedding means of something. Maybe when you dream of the wedding. I didn't dream of no wedding. He just said he wanted to do that. Continue your dance. <laughs> like, I was like, hey, love. I don't know, okay? I don't know. Be the, the life of the party. I don't know, y'all. I'm going to tell you what I got from it. I got from it that it stood out to me that he wanted me to drink, right? But I don't drink. So I kind of felt like I need to be careful because sometimes when I like people, they can't influence me to do stuff, but they can influence me to go places. And I'll say I can govern myself in those places. But alcohol is not something that I get loose or out of control about, you know? Alcohol is it just it hurts my body, it hurts my brain, y'all. It feel like somebody stabbed me in the head with an ice pick. Like that's not no good feeling. Um, so I really just don't like that feeling. You know what I mean? So that's why I don't drink alcohol. But maybe some people feel like, ooh, she gets looser. It's like no. I mean, this is as loose as it's getting here. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? For real. <laughs> um, and I, I do feel like you know. When I'm around this person, I do, I'll, I don't do whatever they tell me to do, but I like them that I'll do things that I would be like, no, you know what I mean? But not for real, but maybe sometimes, you know, it's sketchy, it's, it's confusing. And then going down the stairs with all the bags and stuff like that and the white car. I mean, white was about purity. Hey girl, what's up? Um... I got the reading too. Um, white is about purity, but then the big question of getting married and stuff is like I don't, I don't know if y'all know how I feel about marriage, but y'all can tell me in the comments what y'all think. <laughs> I'm not saying it's a bad thing. I'm just saying y'all need to really like this person. That's a long commitment. Every day, same person. You like them for real? Like. Ooh, no strings attached. Let me see what came out for me. A fairy tale in reverse. So this person is not fake or phony. A spiritual connection. Rejected. Shocking news. Oh, Lord. Happy. That's a confusing thing to fall out and say. I don't know what the hell they're trying to say to me. This person is not tricky. They happy. They're shocked. Sometimes they feel rejected. From a spiritual connection with me. Because of no strings. I don't fucking know. Alright y'all. It's your shit. You pay for a reading. Let me do it. How do we do the reading with the goddess? <laughs> Just cash at me. I'm about to start now. Because somebody already paid. Um, dang my best friend calling me. I can't talk to him right now. I gotta call you back. I'm on live. Um, for a read. Me and. Okay. So what's going on between you and the Scorpio male? Okay, so how does this Scorpio male feel about you? All right, let's see what the fuck going on with it. If you want a reading, y'all can cash at me. Um, all right, we're going to do for me and Scorpio male. All right, how does this Scorpio male feel about her? Okay, wild side. Okay, this person like, like that other side to you. <laughs> I'm sorry, this why Scorpio, why all the sexual shit got to come out first? But I mean, we don't give a fuck, do we? Okay, so we got a wild side. There's a side to you I haven't seen. This person's seen this side. They love it too. Oh my God, it's just, it's great, okay? I don't know if they met it in a text message or where they met it, but they love it. I want to see you let loose, get wild, okay? So whoever this is, um... They've seen this side of you. They've seen you get loose. They love this shit, okay? And it's something that really, this it really excites them. I'm going to have to put y'all like this because there we go. All right, so this person has seen your wild side and they really like it, all right? It's something that intrigues them and it gets them excited, okay? Sorry to be, you know, busting your shit right out of the gate, but they said it, not me. All right, so this Scorpio male... What's going on? Or maybe you like how aggressive he is. You like it, okay? Showing out. 
Okay, so you do feel like somebody craves attention. I don't know if this is you or him, but we got showing out. I'm acting like I don't care about what's happened between us, and I do. And I just want to appear unbothered. Now, if you're dealing with a Scorpio, now they can do that now, girlfriend. I'm telling you that you would be like, damn, nigga. You just over here. He, he is Sag. Oh, he's a Sag. Okay, you the Scorpio. Okay. All right. So whoever, I guess, whoever is fighting, somebody is not talking, they acting unbothered. Scorpio, if this is you, you the one that's cool, we can do this. But this Sag is trying to, they trying to roll with the big dog. So be prepared for this. Okay. So he's showing out. He like, he could be just as silent as your motherfucking ass um, is, okay? We're showing out here. I'm acting like I don't care, but I do. Um, this also could be somebody from your past, okay? All right, that's thinking about you. It's retrograde right now. And because this card is sideways, it could just be thought, okay? So somebody could be feeling like you showing out. Or they are. Okay, we do got out. All right, so whoever this is, yeah, this is somebody else, all right, because all these cards match. So you got two niggas in your reading, all right? One of these people think about you a lot, and they feel like you be acting like you unbothered and you don't give a fuck about their ass no more, okay? And that's the Scorpio way if you the Scorpio. Um, also, whoever this new person is, they really feel like home to you. Like, so this person like being up under you. They might like being up under your titties and stuff. I'm sorry to be so graphic. I'm just, I'm just telling you, <laughs> okay? But whoever this is, you know, you really feel like home to them. And being with you reminds them of simpler times, okay? So this person feel like they can have basic shit with you and still be happy, okay? It says being, uh, you bring me so much happiness and so much peace. So this person like how you freaky and they also like how you just like lay back and real chill you also got somebody else out here that feel like you putting on a facade nigga you out here acting like you don't even give a fuck they exist and shit when you know you give a fuck but i don't really even think you know who the fuck this is <laughs> okay here we go again same colors now whoever this is that you fucking with right now you don't want this to end you know you don't want this sagittarius to run away from you 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 know but y'all could be trying to plan a trip okay so scorpios uh, not Scorpio, but if you are Scorpio, I think you are Scorpio. Um, don't think of the worst. You know what I'm saying? This person could be thinking about going on a trip with you. They could be wanting to say, like, let's let's get away, all right? You're mine, okay? So, Scorpio, you could be getting real possessive about the situation quickly. So, you got to be careful, okay? Because you got your mind here, which is a little bit of possessive energy, all right? And then we have my dreams, okay? Now, this is also letting you know, like, even though you might be interested in this person, don't put all your eggs in a basket, okay? This could be a lesson, um, on your route to your ever, happily ever after because my dreams is here in reverse, okay? So don't tailor what your dreams are or who your dream person is. Make sure you're always shooting for the stars and you want the best possible outcome, all right? You do got two other niggas in your energy. And this person felt like you was always going to be theirs, okay? Y'all was always going to have this strong-ass connection. And whoever comes to mind is right because this card is purple, but you ran away from this person. Bottom of the day energy, mother wounds, okay? So maybe this mother, this person had mother issues. They wanted you to be their motherfucking mama. I don't know what the fuck this is, okay? But you was their dream person. They wanted to be with you. And maybe their mom really liked you, all right? Some of, some of y'all people mamas looking at y'all. I don't know. Yeah, it's on, okay? All right, so with you and this person, this person like the freaky side to you. All right, you got two other people that's in your energy as well. This person does want to plan a trip with you or go somewhere on vacation with you, and you feel like home to this person, okay? That's good. That's a nice read. Let me pull some other cards because I want to. How does this person feel about her? How does this Sag feel? Okay, so you didn't realize how perfect you are to me. So this Sag could be like a hopeless romantic. You could be like, oof, okay. Um, um, I disappointed myself. I'm disappointed in myself for letting you down. This Sagittarius doesn't want to let you down. And they also realize how perfect you are to them, okay? So this person really want to just like knock your socks off. I had a Sag one time. I really enjoyed it. He was really romantic. He really was without no teaching. How did you start the reading? Okay. Um, hi, I paid your reading. Yeah, you paid for a reading. I started it. All you got to do is just go back or you can go on YouTube 
and just look when the first card hit and then that way you can go back and get it um you can go back and pick up the reading because you were the only person that paid for a reading the next person who wants a reading y'all can get that too i don't know did i pin it on here i don't know i could put it in here Okay, let me go back and read all this. Didn't against you. Okay, what does it say? I don't know. I'm a dreamer. Continue your dance. Be the life of the party. Wedding dreams. Death is something I hear. Be careful whose cup you drink from and who you entertain. Don't go against your morals. Um, whole thing. I hear boundaries. How do we do the reading with the goddess? I pay, he's a sad, and he's a third party. Is this reading mine? I'm sorry, I'm doing all this. I didn't see I was lost. I was talking to his mom, and she said she knew I loved him, and he is disappointed, and he did disappoint me. Oh, okay. Somebody mama was in this reading. You should listen to this reading again. Hey, Nada. Hey, Lucky. Mm. Well, he's gonna try to make up for it. That did come out in reverse. It could, it could, it could have meant that everything it has been revealed that he has disappointed everybody. But um, yeah, definitely look at it again. He did disappoint me. You can look at it on YouTube too. Um, I had a sad. She hit, she hit me in the face. Hold on, what? what? I had a sad, and what she she hit me in the face. I had a sad. Then nobody hit me in the face. She, he was nice. He was a nice. He was nice. I didn't have to tell him shit. He knew exactly what to do, when to do, and how to do it. He was good. He was a good, good person. <laughs> and he was younger than me too. I was really shocked by that. I was like, wow. I don't like when I have to tell people what to do. It's just like, ugh, it's a turn off. We plan to go home. We plan to go to what? Oh, to Jamaica. Okay, so y'all are planning a trip. They do want to do that. Okay, so that trip, that trip is something that they do want to do, and they 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 are happy about it. She was a pet. She is the pastor's daughter. Damn, you gotta be careful with them pastor's daughters. Mm hmm. He did say he wanted to go on a trip with you, girl. He's thinking about it. I don't know if he's thinking about the payments or what's going on, but he is thinking about going on that trip. Okay, so. What's up, Lucky? How you been, man? What's going on? If anybody else want a reading, y'all already know what to do. It's 1888. If you want one offline, it's 2888. Um, I'll be on here until maybe like 2. I don't know what I want to eat for lunch today, though. Y'all help me with that. Help me with lunch. That's the pastor's daughter. That's crazy. Y'all got to be careful with that pastor's daughter. The seeds of the pastor. I don't know. Um, thank you so much for the work you do. All your readings always be speaking to me. You're more than welcome. And I'm really grateful, guys, um, that y'all tell me that. I love you guys. I mean, I mean, I don't know how to other way to explain it than showing up and just doing it. Sometimes I don't be feeling like it, but I'd be like, nope, I have to, you know. And a lot of you guys feel like I um tell y'all different hacks. I don't even know what I'm telling y'all sometimes. I'm like, what did I drop? Y'all like, drop in gems. I'd be like, what gem? It's crazy. But you guys all say the same thing. So if I'm helping, that's all that I really want to do. And I just want you guys to know your worth and your value. And, and that's really where the money is. As long as you don't deplete yourself with nobody who is a taker, you'll be okay. And once you realize that someone is taken from you, Say something, you know, and, um, you know, meet that energy right where it is. And if that energy doesn't want to change, let that energy go so new energy can come in. A lot of people are like, I don't know why I keep attracting the same person. It's because you keep letting the same energy vampires come and feed off you instead of saying, no, you fucking energy vampire, get your fucking ass away from me or change your vibration so you can stay over here by me. And if not, you have to go. I've been exploring the world and loving and loving and laughing. I miss you. I miss you too. Dang, my auntie calling too. I can't talk to her right now. Um, I miss you too, man. And this is good. I mean, you you should be exploring the world. You should be doing. I mean, all of us are still watching you everywhere you go. Lucky, we all know where you're going. We all watching. <laughs> okay, but um, definitely keep doing what you're doing. I don't know why so many people are trying to get in touch with me at the same time. 
I'm sure my auntie is just checking in on me to see if I'm okay. Because she hasn't heard from me in weeks. But sometimes I get like that because I be live every day, you know, and I can't be social. Um, and people in my real life is like, oh, you can't call me. No, I was live all day talking to people that I don't know. I don't want to talk to you. I don't want to talk to nobody. I don't want to talk to nobody. <laughs> That's that song, Nobody. I was in the streets. I am nobody. <laughs> I don't like saying that song because it's a hell of an affirmation, bruh. It's not a good song to just be repeating. But I totally enjoy it, you know. I was one of them these when these niggas didn't have nobody. They switched up. <laughs> now they still ain't nobody. <laughs> it's like, oh, you want to sing it, but it's like, don't sing it too hard because you need everybody. Okay, so that's a trap. But it's so catchy, though, you know. You just want to cock your shit right quick. It's like, oh, don't get carried away with that. Hey, how you doing? How you doing? If you guys want to read it. <laughs> It's 1888. They were trying to get you with the lyrics, man. They were trying to hit you with them lyrics. Them lyrics be catchy, too. What's up? If you want to read and y'all already know what to do, you can catch at me. Now, y'all can get yes or no questions, which are just the question mark. All you got to do is put question mark in the comment, and I'll bust you down in the order in which I see the question mark, okay? And it's just yes or no. Don't write out, did Tommy cheat on me last night? Don't do that, man. It's always awkward when y'all do that. Hate it. It be like, oh, man. Then I be reading like hooked on phonics and reading it out loud not knowing to say it just let's not fall in that trap today okay all we need is a simple question mark it's free you can do it as many times as you like okay and you just gotta put a question mark that's all and hey how you doing how you doing asia thank you guys for coming to my live can y'all please hit the like button? I mean, our numbers are so small. Like, we really could do it. Wow, it's 111 on April 11th. I'm saying 11, 1, 1. Damn, that's a lot of ones. So it's April 11th at 111. <clears throat> that's what my clock says anyway. Which is just basically saying the love energy is coming in with that 333 that I was just talking about earlier on this live. <sighs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Great. It's not crazy, but it's just the truth. Okay, Lucky, you got all, everybody coming back, Lucky. Everybody just coming back. Yo, little Lucky ass. Like, let me go get this Lucky, okay? But Lucky had to drop everybody to get here. And that's some real nigga shit, Ashley, for real. Okay, so the first two is no, and unfortunately not, okay? Um, let me see what your last one is, Lucky. It's certainly not. So all of yours was no. Okay, and it says, I'm doing well, beautiful. Y'all just are so nice to me with the beautiful talk. <laughs> okay, I really am grateful for that. Okay, um, I'm doing well, beautiful. One, 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 thank you. Um, I so I think of a question, I just put a question. Oh, yeah, you just will no, see, see, why you do that? Why'd you, why'd you do that? I just don't understand. Okay. What dope sis girl? What's good up? What's up? Y'all, all you have to do is put question mark. Don't be asking if Rico Suave is going to be rekindling with you. That is not how it goes. Just question mark. Okay? That's it. That's all it is. Just question mark. Y'all got to get yourselves together now. I'm saying these rules. Who just paid for a reading? Okay, you want your reading. Okay, all right. All right, so YouTube, I mean, Instagram, Meek, you've been like liking everything, baby. Thank you so much for the love. Thank you for going and liking up every single photo. I really appreciate that. Okay, your first answer is X again later. Your second one is yes. Your third one is absolutely not. Your fourth one is use motherfucking caution, okay? And not only that, you did it the right, for four questions, you actually got exactly four responses. So that was really good. Okay. Please. Okay, I'm going to answer your question about your reconciliation. But please, in the future, just put question mark and don't put all that stuff. Because now we about to, now we about to know if y'all going to reconcile or not. And that's going to be awkward. It said no. <laughs> you see what I'm saying? That was awkward. But if you would have just put question mark, we would have just been like, oh, okay. Whatever you got going on, I hope you got the right answer. You know what I mean? Keep it private. It's not hard, y'all. 
We don't need to be all up in it, you know what I'm saying? Unless we get in a reading. Other than that, let's just keep it right, keep it tight, you know? Hold on, y'all. I always do the same answer. Is Bone Quisha cheating on me? Yes. Now, nah, you know she is. That's why you're asking these damn cards. <laughs> y'all, what's wrong with my little thing? Stop it. Okay, my bad. I had to open my window. It's starting to get happy outside. And I can't miss out on no sun. I got to get the little sun. Okay, let's get this reading. We want a financial one. I know that's the truth. What's up with this money? All right, what are the action steps we got to take to even get the money? That's really where we need to be at, okay? Or, okay, what are the action steps needed to get the money? What are the action steps needed that she needs to get the money? Okay, there's something that you need to do to express yourself, okay? You are ready to manifest your thoughts and transform them into acts of ideas. So there's an idea that they're trying to give you, and you need to figure out what the fuck it is, okay? So you can say to me in a DM or email, Ashley, this is the idea that I have in my head. I want to start this business, blah, 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 blah. Whatever it is, you need to express it to somebody so that you can put it in 3D form. Because your money could be ex more than what it is if you could just express yourself. All right? All right. What is blocking her money? What is blocking her money? What is blocking her money? It's hot as fucking here. I got to turn the air on now. Shit. All right. What's blocking your money? Okay, so shit that you do on the weekend, your freedom, acting crazy, okay? The the unwillingness to say no, okay? Do you go out a lot? Do you party a lot? Do you twerk up a lot? Do you have a good time a lot? Okay, so you need to cut that shit down, okay? And express yourself in some kind of creative way that's going to make money. So you can't keep going out, but you just need to maybe record it. You know what I'm saying? You can't keep staying in the house if you do. But you just need to record it. You need to be like a staying in the house chronicles or a, a go out chronicles. Whatever the fuck kind of chronicles you want, you need to do it, okay? Because you need to make some money off of what you're doing. And some people feel like, oh, you know, no one's going to watch me. Tons of people fucking watch people. That's just what people do. They just people watch, okay? Now, Spirit is telling you, you can't marginalize off of this, but you got to fucking do the work and you got to start doing it, okay? It can't be just something you keep talking about. And you're not putting no action towards it, okay? Expression. Okay, so you feel unfulfilled at your job. You fucking hate this goddamn job. You just wish you had an emotional attachment to another goddamn job. You just feel like this job no longer serves you, okay? You need to get your nails done if your nails is chipping. Um, but you got luck on your side. Anything that you do now will be very prosperous for you. So like I said before, if there is something that is in your mind that you feel like you need to do, like, damn, but actually, am I really going to do this clothing line? Can I really do hair? Can I really? I don't give a fuck what it is, okay? Yes, you can. Luck is on your side right now. If you believe that you are lucky, then you will create an abundant mindset. You have a perspective that needs to be shifted to grow to stamp your luck, okay? Four leaf clovers could be significant. Damn, you also got a windfall of money. So, look, if you think you're going to be broke for a long time, that's a goddamn lie. Your next card out is a windfall. It says you're about to receive a windfall of money or a pay raise. Money is currently in a positive cycle, and this is a great time to treat yourself and make that big purchase. Purchase, Okay, I mean, I don't know what you're trying to buy that's big. Maybe you know, but you're going to get a windfall of money, and Spirit is telling you don't be scared when you got to buy this, whatever the fuck this is, because... That's why they're giving it to you, okay? You also have science. Keep an open mind. Something is unfolding for you. 
All right, so if you feel like there's a lot of dead ends and you don't know what the fuck gonna happen, look at all the possibilities. I mean, these are all the best cards out of all of these decks. I mean, this whole thing, you know, look, investment. So also, if you wanna invest in something, you definitely need to do that shit because you're gonna get some money from that as well. And even if it's a small investment, it could be $200 to turn into $700. People don't understand that you can find ways to make more money and you're not even doing anything but just investing in something. It's tons of ways. Make your money grow even when you sleeping okay we have science chemistry biology field of science apply science approach business and financial problems okay so there are different science and techniques that you can do to manifest money just like blowing cinnamon through your door or paying amish or just doing uh gratitude techniques a day maybe you need to start these little little baby steps which is just saying i see money flow through my household i see money flow through my bank account easily and freely some of it i keep for my own personal use and some of it i recycle back into the world to pay for all of the things that i love to use you know you need to have some kind of jingle that you say over your money every day so that you know that it's coming back to you okay so that you know that it's growing or multiplying that's hella fucking important okay all right so making spells keep them motherfuckers all right we got freedom unlocked okay so you could feel real restricted you could be like bitch i don't even got no money to go to the club i ain't got no money to eat no drink i ain't got no money to do all this stuff you need to stop saying that bullshit okay with unlock here you need to be like i have everything that i need and want i have everything that i could um possibly need and even though you might not see that you still have to say that because in actuality you do you live in life you're going through stuff okay be careful because you could have something unexpected. So make sure you change your tongue because if you keep, you know, feeling like you trapped and saying negative things over there, you could get an unexpected car accident or something could happen with your car. Okay. And also, if you fucking with a nigga and you know you shouldn't be fucking with him, stop. Because settling for a bum ass nigga or settling for a bum ass relationship can fuck you up. Okay. This person can fuck up your car. You can lend your car to this person. Okay. Or somebody could break into somebody's car that's unlocked. I know that sounds crazy because I said break in, but settling for something is not good you the only thing you need to really be focused on right now is your goal your soul is telling you that you're on the wrong path so if you find yourself in pause like damn i don't know what to do like why he making me feel like this just get the fuck away from him okay take off look at the next card take off look at the nigga taking the fuck off because it's time to go it's time to get your freedom who you be around can stop your money from coming in as well because they're like if we fuck with you and we give you a windfall of money and you fucking with this person and this could even be your home girl to eat up all your money or you share all your money with the bitch or something they don't want to bless that girl because she using you she hogging you she living off of you okay or it could be a he all right that was a good reading um if anybody else wants to read it y'all already know what to do Yes, actually, I just said I wanted to spend this. Okay, so first of all, you cannot say spend. You have to say things like, I circulate this $200, okay, for whatever goods and services it gives to me, and I want it to come back to me times 10 in the form of whatever the amount of money it is, okay? But just make sure that you're not saying spend. You're saying circulate. All these things have a big thing to do with it. And if I'm not available, Reverend Ike is somebody that you can Google and he will tell you some of this stuff. Some of this stuff you can pay for. I think his little seminar is like 56, but he will really tell you what not to say, what words to just not use your money with. Um, and this man was really powerful. He was like one of the most powerful pastors. Everybody in his congregation was wealthy, every single fucking person. And uh, after he died, they put sanctions on what people could preach in church. So this is somebody y'all really need to listen to. You know, that that's what I hear. What, the word of God telling me to go to some money. The word of God telling me not to struggle. The word of God telling me you need to get the G-Wagon. You know what I'm saying? Some people, word of God be saying like struggle and be down and low. I don't know who they listening to, but we don't listen to the same people. So, yeah. But anyway, y'all, I hope that um I hope that cleared up some stuff for you guys. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just I don't I don't be that's not who I'll be listening to. Calculate. Um circulate. Got it. Definitely. No more S word. Okay, and don't be saying the B word too. Like if y'all listen to heavy Carly, Cardi, she say the B word a lot. And I ain't talking about bitch. Okay, so you gotta stop saying that or just rapping about how poverty is just something great that you want to experience. Like any of those songs you gotta like stay away from because you just don't need those songs. You know what I mean? You're trying to manifest and you need to be very vigilant on what you're putting into your mind when you're trying to manifest because it's really important 
that you understand that everything that you listen to, everything that you do contributes to your manifestation. And if you're going against something and you're chanting it and you rapping it and you doing all that shit, then yeah, that's the life you want to live because you're saying it so passionately. You know what I mean? But if you're saying, giving you the best that I've got, you can only just be doing that, okay? Now, I'm not saying that that doesn't come with some energy too because it comes with some, some sexual healing, okay? Some serious sexual healing. All right, so you could be very sexual when you're in that era because that era was the baby making era. You know, that was the project to see if they gave sexual music will allow you guys to make more babies and do different things you know all eras of music and genres have their own kind of spell on it if you see it and i guess this latest one is just to corrupt the minds and make them confused and buy and he she them in ways and whatever but you know i don't know hey tracy hey t hey my baby how you doing but yeah, y'all, you know, just a little food for thought, you know, I always try to give you a little something, something, something. Um, I am up to date with all readings, so if anybody wants one offline, you guys can get one. Thank God I'm finally up to date with all readings. And um, if y'all have any yes or no questions, y'all can ask those too. By putting a question mark in the comment. And um, yeah. Whew. I guess this nigga going to work. What am I eating for lunch today, man? What y'all got going for lunch today? Everyday lunch is so hard. I don't know what to eat. Tomorrow looks like it could be a happy day. They should be dead on the weather. It look happy right now, anyway. Shit. Okay, so does anybody have any questions for me? If not, I am probably going to get off at like maybe 1.30. Because I want to get something to eat. I just don't know what I want to eat. I don't know how you want to get something to eat. You just don't know what you want to eat. Cash pot. Alright, last call for anybody else that wants to get a reading. Or yes or no question, which is free. Because um, I am about to uh, bow out of here gracefully. Do, 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 do. We good? We Gucci? We solid today? Alright, y'all. I'm about to go. I will see you guys later. Bye. Do, 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 do. I love that song. I need a picture. Baby.